What is going on, I have Warriors? So we have another video here of intermittent fasting. Doesn't work. You, you guys love these videos, so we got to do this. We got to react. We got to react, right? So anyways, we're going to look at this video here. Let's see if we could pull it up. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to look at this video here, which is not really a video. It's just a person doing squats and with music, which we're not going to play. But we'll read this instead, right? We could read it. It's okay if you hear my voice reading it. And basically, I'm doing the video that I'm reacting to, right? Right. We're good. Intermittent fasting does not work. Y'all will literally starve yourselves instead of just eating better and eating more food. So, how do you eat more food? If you are trying to lose weight, you have to eat less food, right? So if you eat a certain amount of calories and you're a certain amount of weight, you have to eat less than that. You just have to. You can't eat more food. You can't eat more energy. You can't eat more calories. Could you eat bigger porch, bigger meals of, of like low calorie stuff? Yeah, you could do that. But you can't eat more calories and lose weight. That just can't happen. So the whatever you're trying to say in this statement here it just doesn't make any sense scientifically you have to be at a caloric deficit some of y'all already don't eat enough food so you're already seriously under eating and then fasting for multiple hours a day put your body in starvation mode now this to me i always see as a somewhat jab at the community that uh at the people who have um, the eating disorder community, right? When people say this, is because they think that, well, if you're doing intermittent fasting, you must have some sort of an eating disorder already because that, you have to have an eating disorder to want to do intermittent fasting when in reality, that is not the case. It doesn't mean that you have an eating disorder because you're doing intermittent fasting. Just you're using intermittent fasting as a tool to lose weight the same way you are counting calories as a tool to lose weight right uh everyone has to have some sort of a tool to lose weight if they've gained weight you just have to it's not going to just happen by itself you gotta create some sort of a intervention for a lot of people they choose to do intermittent fasting and if they're under eating already and then they choose to do intermittent fasting then it's they're not really choosing intermittent fasting for weight loss are they right so it already this is how you, you it doesn't how can it not work if the thing that you're referring to is weight loss when they're already under eating and they should already be at a low weight right because that's how it works calories the less calories you eat the lower your weight is going to be that that's just how it works um and what that and what does the body do in starvation mode it holds on to fat to protect the body that's not how starvation modes work. It doesn't hold on to fat to protect the body. Uh, drains the body of energy and does more harm than... Okay, so calories are, is energy. <laughs> so it's, this is what... And people will put this in there and people will just be like, yo, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But calories are energy. So if you're saying that it's holding on to energy, how are, how is it holding on to energy then also draining the energy at the same time, right? It's, it's draining you of energy, but it's also holding on to it because that's what calories are. They're energy, right? So it, it's a thing that this is like what the fear mongering stuff of uh, that that's just out there, right? Oh, you're starving yourself. You're losing all your energy while also not losing all your energy somehow by breaking science. I don't know, but it's happening to you and it, because all of these things have to be happening to you because you're doing intermittent fasting. Guys, be wary of videos like this. They don't really know what they're saying. They're going off of the kind of the the bro science or the 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 common talking points of the common conversations that are had that not based on studies at all uh when you go into starvation your body's not going into starvation mode because you're not uh eating every moment of the day if you eat do a 16 8 diet or intermittent fasting regimen and you're eating let's say 3500 calories 4000 calories you're eating, you could have eaten those 4,000 calories spread throughout the day. At the end of the day, you still just ate 4,000 calories. I just ended up eating it at a shorter time frame, and you ended up eating it in a much larger one where you spread it out 
more. That, but we still ate the same amount of calories that day. So who's starving? No one's starving. Like, guys, calm down. Like, your body can not eat for 16 hours and be okay. Okay? Your body can not eat for 16 hours and be okay. Anyways, just wanted to talk touch on this video here. Um, hopefully this video has helped you guys. Uh, let me know uh, down in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, sorry for the long video from before, but I had to break that one down. And we'll, uh, we'll jump on another one tomorrow. Peace out, guys.